For many of us who have moved on in our lives, if we're ever feeling nostalgic, we have the option of visiting our hometown and going back and strolling the parks that we frequented as children, driving by our old elementary school, revisiting lost memories. But for a select group of people in northern Georgia, that same experience would require a diving suit. Lake Lanier, the largest man-made lake in the state of Georgia, swallowed multiple towns during its creation in the 1950s. It was created as an answer to the area's increasing water supply needs, including those of the growing metropolitan area of Atlanta. Prior to construction, property in the area was purchased and citizens were relocated. In some cases, eminent domain was enacted, a clause allowing the government to forcibly purchase private property if it wishes to convert the area into public use. In total, some 700 families had to move to make way for the lake. When all was said and done, the whole area was flooded with entire towns still intact. To this day, buildings litter at the bottom of the lake. Homes of those who were forced to move on, businesses of past entrepreneurial spirits, an entire racetrack with stadium seating, all lying dormant in quiet suspension underneath the 39k acre reservoir known as Lake Lanier. While some may find the history of this man-made lake to simply be fascinating, there are many who claim the area is outright cursed. Since its opening to the public in 1958, there have been an inordinate amount of deaths in and around the lake, with everything ranging from boating accidents to drowning to vehicles losing control and careening off the road. Joining the vast pile of debris that already adorns the lake's floor. There have been several reported incidents of boats hitting something in the water, only for it to be discovered that nothing was there at all. Alongside this many boats or other watercraft have capsized for no apparent reason, and occasionally sudden dangerous rogue waves appear without warning to disrupt those enjoying a day out on the lake. Many of the drowning incidents have had a very strange contacts, often happening close to shore and to people who are known to be very strong swimmers while the lake is in calm condition. Others who have been close to drowning but survived to tell the tale have reported that they felt as if they were being pulled underwater or held underneath by unseen hands. Some said they felt the air suddenly leave their lungs and got hit with a wave of exhaustion with a surprising suddenness. Some of the unfortunate individuals who have drowned in Lake Lanier have had their bodies reappear in areas very far from where they had died. While it's likely just the currents, it makes you wonder if those same ghostly forces others have claimed to feel have a tendency to drag the bodies from their initial positions. The public became increasingly aware of the rumors of Lake Lanier being cursed or haunted in 2011, when there were a total of 17 deaths directly on the lake, several of which were due to freak accidents. The very next year in 2012, the trend continued when a quick succession of violent deaths and injuries had occurred, leading to national news headlines. The first occurrence happened on June 18th, 2012 when nine-year-old Jake Prince and his 13-year-old brother, Griffin, were riding a pontoon out on the lake, and they were struck and killed by a speeding boat driven by a 44-year-old business owner named Paul J. Bennett. Only a few weeks after this tragedy, on July 9th, 11-year-old Kyle Glover, who happened to be the son of the pop star Usher's ex-wife, Tamika Foster, was struck while in an inner tube by a family acquaintance riding a jet ski and rendered brain dead. Although doctors struggled to save his life, he died two weeks later on July 21st and was taken off of life support. A 15-year-old friend of the boys was also seriously injured in the same accident, but ultimately recovered. These tragic incidents were attracting all sorts of media attention, and before long, Lake Lanier was being deemed cursed and a death trap by the news and social media sites like Twitter, with many people insisting that it was an evil place that should be avoided. While those were some of the more publicized accidents, similar ones had been occurring with unsettling frequency ever since the lake had first opened to the public. 
Although the context of some deaths have been strange, it's important to keep in mind that Lake Lanier is an incredibly popular tourist destination, so the rate of accidents may naturally be a bit higher than normal. The area comes complete with hotels, a full-service boating marina, restaurants, campgrounds, stables, beaches, a golf course, and even an entire water park. All of these activities and the natural beauty of the area attracts around 8 million visitors per year. But even before the area was so bustling, Lake Lanier was intimately intertwined with strange occurrences and deaths. In April of 1958, two young women named Delia Young and Susie Roberts went out for a night in the town in their 1954 Ford, but they would never return. A subsequent investigation discovered that they had visited a gas station shortly before their disappearance, and they had left without paying. The only clue found was a set of skid marks that seemed to suggest a vehicle had lost control and skidded off of Lanier Bridge into the lake below. And divers were brought in to search for any evidence or for their vehicle, but nothing was ever found. The divers cited poor visibility in the murky water, only being able to see the masses of sheared off tree trunks that littered the bottom of the lake. For 18 entire months, Police were unable to find any further clues related to the case or the missing woman. But then a fisherman named C.A. Simpson made a gruesome discovery. A badly decomposed body of what was thought to be Delia Young floated towards him out of the depths. The corpse was strangely missing two toes from the left foot, as well as missing both hands. No one knows why these extremities were missing, and a positive identification of the body was unable to be reached. With no way of knowing if this corpse belonged to Delia Young, it was eventually buried in an unmarked grave in the Atla Vista Cemetery. The mystery would continue to puzzle authorities for decades, until in November of 1990, when construction of an expansion to Lanier Bridge was underway. As crews were dredging the bottom of the lake to set up pillars, they uncovered a rusted out 1954 Ford which held the remains of a body inside. The car had been hidden within these sprawling tree trunks, mud and other debris in 90 feet of water on a steep slope. Belongings found with the body included a purse, rings and a watch which aided in conclusively proving that this was the long-missing Susie Roberts. In light of this discovery, it was concluded that the other body was indeed Delia Young, and the unmarked grave's headstone was changed accordingly with Susie Roberts being buried beside her. While this case may be over 60 years old, it spawned one of the area's most frightening local legends. It's said that a ghastly young woman wearing a blue dress and with missing hands can occasionally be seen traversing up and down a linear bridge. Several have claimed to have seen this apparition, who has become known as the Lady of the Lake. It's believed to be the ghost of Delia Young, still restlessly searching for her missing hands. Outside of documented cases, many believe the true haunting of Lake Lanier is due to the initial defilement of the graves that were disturbed during its construction. In order to drown the towns that now lie beneath the lake's waters, several cemeteries needed to be dug up and many bodies had to be relocated. People theorized that while the physical remains may have been moved, some spirits remained attached. Some believe this explains the feeling so many people have of being dragged down when they swim in Lanier, as the angry spirits of those who once lived there lash out against those who disrupted their final resting place. What do you think? Could the lake truly be haunted? Or are the accidents that occur so frequently on Lanier just natural? Would you ever risk swimming directly above old gravesites? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for making it to the end and make sure to stay tuned for next week's mystery.